Are you a superhero? Am I a superhero? <laughs> Stop following me and watching me, get out of here. How long is this going to take? Can I just hold this? Okay? Yeah. Alright. So, I was born in Sweden. To British parents, obviously. This won't fit. Mother, well, I'm an only child. My, uh, my mum and dad grew up with them. They passed away. I kept moving around, like I said before, and... Well, back when I was a child, there weren't that many superheroes to pick from, if I'm honest. Um... Superman, he's a very popular one, but to me, he's, I don't know, he's overpowered, too many powers, and... And then there's that whole ridiculous thing where... He's, who is it, Clark Kent, when he has his glasses on, whips the glasses off, and he's Superman. They levitate some of them, and some of them can breathe fire, and see fire, like lasers and all this thing, look. So I'm not entirely comfortable doing this. What do I like doing? I like, I don't know, I like spending a lot of time on my own. I'm not really that comfortable being surrounded by a lot of people, but I, I don't know what do I do. I spent a long time reading and thinking. Hey, come and check this out. This is pretty good, you know. It's quite interesting. I like, I like, not in a weird way, but I like, I like watching people because. Just seeing people go about their day-to-day -day lives and being happy and not really knowing what's going on and just, just being happy in their own bubble if you like. You know, the expression is, ignorance is bliss. And that's almost comforting for me, I think. You've been following me all day. And now you're going to keep recording while I do this. Exercising. What does it look like? I don't know. Nowadays, I kind of feel. I mean, I haven't given up, but I kind of walk around, not really interested in meeting new people or trying new things. I mean, I haven't lost my will to survive, but I seem to have lost my will to live. Really. Nothing really catches my attention anymore. I mean, I'm frustrated with people. I mean. No one ever does anything. I mean, people, I don't want to say they're lazy, but all the things that we've built are designed to make our lives far, far too easy. And it makes, you know, some things irrelevant. Hey! Do you want anything to eat? No, I'm fine. I'm cleaning my bins, obviously. Why? Because I like things clean, you know? It's not a big deal. You know, you see something on the street, you pick it up, it's all good, you put it in the bin. It's nice to have things clean. Everyone's so messy, you know? I don't really know what a superhero is. I mean, 
If you ask me, it's, it's not big, huge gestures of saving 10 people from a burning building. I mean, fair enough, that's a work in itself, but it's little things, you know. Random acts of kindness, little things to help other people that really change how people think about other people. I mean, little things like picking up the trash or just helping someone do something, doing someone a favor, no matter how small, just these little things. I guess what you really want to know is what makes me what you think is a superhero. Superheroes, you know, they're not amazing people with amazing powers. Anyone can do it. It's the kind of thing where if you want to help people, the power is you actually doing that thing and going and helping people. Hey, I'm up here. What are you doing up there? I don't know, sometimes I think it's good to just kind of break free and do something a little out of the ordinary than what you'd usually do. I don't know, like sometimes I'll just I'll just go, like I'll just run and run. And I'll see where that takes me. Or just do something people don't expect of you at all, you know? Dance or just jump up and down, do something completely out of the ordinary. Just break the the day-to-day -day habit that you get into. Do something different. It's fun. I enjoy it.